finally, after months of waiting for this thing to arrive and months of it sitting in my garage, I'm gonna put on my front grill guard, brush guard they call it, for my Ram Promaster van. The main benefit of doing a brush guard is that it will allow me to add in some really bright lights. The Ram Promaster headlights are some of the worst headlights you will ever encounter. If you want to upgrade the headlights, you have to like pull stuff out and glue it in, which I'm not gonna do. So instead, I got these hypersonic crazy lights that uh, will probably be only for off-road use or late night highway use where you can see miles ahead and you know that no one's coming. But I'm very excited to get some real deal lights on the van. I always remember my mom saying that uh, as you get older, driving at night gets harder and harder. And uh, I'm almost 40, so it, it's getting there. Whoa. Ah, here we go. This is the real deal. I don't think it's going to save me from any deer impacts or cyclist impacts, but it's uh, decent for brush. I really thought the old Los Angeles train robbers got a hold of this uh, <laughs> package from Amazon. It took forever to come and it was one of those where you have a tracking number but it actually isn't tracking anything. I can do it. I can read this. I've got the attention span. Here we go. The fun begins with a removal of the passenger side splash guard. Whoa. And as you can see, I actually got some new tires. Very nice, uh, all terrain, a little more aggressive. I still am not going to drive in the snow if I can avoid it, but uh, if I have to, it's a little bit better. I have chains too. I think I'll finally have a pretty good chance at memorizing my license plate after I edit this video. You and me both. Lower bumper bracket bolts. Is that a bumper bracket bolt? Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Okay, moving on. I've got these two brackets installed under here. Now I've gotta take this piece off. Oh God, Yankerage. Yankerage, Alaska. Okay, yikes. Come on. Okay, here we go. Now we've got the full picture. Ah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so the next step says, with assistance, <laughs> lower the old grill guard in place. And yes, it seems like I'm doing this out of order without the front fascia on, but I think the point is to get everything snug down on the bracket side and then take this back off, put the front fascia on, and do it all over again. <laughs> With assistance. <laughs> okay, we're heading into the home stretch. Really nice because I didn't have to cut any holes. This just comes right out of the grill here. I got my two little supports. Put it back on. A little bit up on this side. Yep, perfect. Wanna go for a ride, buddy? There we go. Get a couple zip ties on there. His head will be <laughs> rocking in the wind. These are supposed to be pretty nice lights. I heard good things. I have no idea <laughs> anything about uh, off-road lights. They feel good. I think they're like 200 bucks, so I hope so. There we go. That is awesome. Okay, the easy part is done. Now I've got to go back to my wiring roots <laughs> from a couple months ago and get this all figured out. Okay, I think I've got everything wired up. And a uh, little light, can I get a little light? There we go. Okay, it's on. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're bright. 
the lumens. Okay, so now I gotta actually route these wires decently and get this button inside the cockpit, but uh, victory so far, so good, as these lights just drain my battery right now. <laughs> Turn them off. We have made some progress. Well, last night I made some progress. Now this morning, I actually need to make some more because I have my rat's nest of uh, zip tied wires to actually be able to turn these lights on. Are we still functioning here this morning? I took the van in to get an oil change this morning and I'm sure the technician lifted the hood and saw this and probably just shook his head. But I didn't, I didn't have the ability to say, no, 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 it's just temporary, it's just temporary. Garbage. I'm very happy that I could at least get the nose of the van into the garage this morning because it's raining. <laughs> I don't want to get all wet. I'm already going to have to crawl on the ground and do all that stuff. First step of the day, let's cut some zip ties off and then I'm gonna go get some more zip ties. Let's not cut the actual wires under here. <laughs> Anything's possible. Should be pretty easy to do a little anti-flop with some zip ties here, get stuff going, and then I'll get to that later. Wow, light makes all the difference. And if I had small hands, where's my wife when I need her? Zip ties are in down below. I got the wires fed through. I've got the button up and running. Everything is looking good in there. So now <laughs> the question is, do I just kind of mount this here and leave it a little bit hokey pokey? For now, I think that's gonna be the solution. Oops, a little bit of glue or something. It's done. <laughs> now the van is being held together with Gorilla Tape and zip ties. But wait, there's more. It's time for a major renovation here in the van. This section has been really cool for traveling solo. I know I have all my bike parts, all that stuff. I can pull this out, have my bike stand, but I really haven't used all this stuff. It, it's a ton of tools. It's pretty much every tool you would need for a bike. It's time to go. It's time to clear this whole section out and actually make room for more storage because this summer, planning to go traveling with my wife Sarah some more, and she's gonna have some stuff. She'll probably have her espresso machine in here, all that good stuff. So we gotta make room, gotta make her happy. I'm sure I can downsize this to a little toolbox instead of having the big old toolbox. Come on, baby, there we go. It's a little finicky. Yeah, modular. Yeah, a lot more stuff that I just, I have in the van, but I don't ever use. Okay, here we go. Easy to go. Ah. It's like it, getting an extra bedroom. Okay, this just needs a bit of a sweep and a vacuum, and then I will have a blank canvas for more storage. So now I've just spent the past hour or so downsizing from this chest of drawers, Milwaukee pack out, and this thing on top into three very small footprint Plano project boxes that I got at Costco. This is so much better. And now my favorite part, behold the magic of downsize. Behold the magic, well, behold the magic of downsizing. That entire Milwaukee Packout system, all in there. A nice little spot that I wasn't even using. Yes. One of my recent purchases has been this big old bamboo table. Very good for having picnics outside the van. I used to have a different one that was smaller, but I left it up in Everstoke and it totally got snowed over and molded over and kind of uh, disintegrated a little bit. So I got a bigger one. I was like, man, that one we have, it's, it's good. But then <laughs> this one's way too big. That one was small, but this is just ridiculous. So I'm hoping since I cleared out this space, I could conveniently 
set it in here without it getting too messed up. Ah, but then I have to get it back out if we're gonna have a picnic, so it has to be accessible. Okay, I think I have an idea how to get that table in place. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, and first I wanna show you my new seatbelt extender, Seatbelt Extender Pros. This is a way more reputable, awesome feeling real product than that weird one that I got from Amazon that isn't even listed anymore by a fly-by-night company. So if you got the other one from my other video, I highly recommend you go over to Seatbelt Extender Pros and get a much nicer version that uh, you can possibly entrust your life to. It's still not a good idea whatsoever, but I'd rather not have the chime. Okay, I am back from Home Depot and I think my redneck engineering idea might actually work here. I bought some of these coat hooks, much like those coat hooks back there. And the idea is just to have maybe one back here so it rests so the thing can't go backwards and then maybe one right here so it can't flop out. And uh, that will be enough to hold it in there <laughs> when I'm driving. Genius. So the really good thing about going through my toolbox earlier today is that I found some mastic tape I didn't know I have. This is kind of like rubber, kind of, sort of. One side is sticky and then one side is soft. So I can cut a piece to put on this side right here, this side right here. And then when the van is shaking and the table gets rattly, it won't really do much damage for a while, then eventually this will kind of wear out. So maybe I'll do two or three strips here. And the floor actually seems to have enough grippiness that uh, might be able to hold the table without much fuss. This stuff is really quite cool. Okay, we just finished our picnic. We're gonna slide this thing in and it's just gonna be Perfectly fine hitting here, rattling around. So then the other idea is I take one of these yellow microfiber cloths that I have a million of and uh, stuff it in there for when we're on the road. I can uh, easily cut one of these in half, stuff it in, and then we have a really secure, fully engineered solution. The final piece of the van upgrade puzzle is taking out these very janky, not so great LED strip lights that seem to be glued on pretty good here. Ah, come on. Oh no. Let's not have the whole roof collapse on me here. Oh yeah, they snap easy. Yeah, so I've got two sets of LEDs. I got these nice ones that are really bright in the van, but then I have these more nice when you're going to bed lights that just kind of are on the blink now. They haven't lasted in the van very well at all. They're kind of one half is gone, probably got disconnected, probably because I've got it all electrical taped and nasty. So I've got a exact same brand. <laughs> I think I just had this laying around. I'm going to replace the crappy one with another crappy one and we're going to see how far it gets me. And luckily this has the same power supply, so it'll be easy to just swap a roo here and get it up and running. Yeah, red, green, blue. I was under the wrong impression that these were just hanging by a thread and they weren't actually stuck on really good because I had a bunch of them in the front that were just flopping out all the time. How did I even get my fingers into this? <laughs> Extra floppy. <coughs> yeah, it must be a little dusty. All right, this won't be too bad to wrap this up and get it all going. I definitely need some external LEDs, kind of like this, but different. These are way too ugly. I need a little diffuser panel, and I need to be able to turn up the brightness and turn down the brightness. These ones built into the van are just full on, bright, bright, bright all the time. Versus when it's sleepy time, you kind of want to, you just want to kind of chill out. 
the work in the van is never done and the colors on this look better. Maybe it's just a figment of my imagination. Yeah, I, uh, I've probably done 10 of these van upgrade videos. I've probably got 10 more waiting in the wings with all the different stuff I'm gonna eventually change. Hey, maybe I'll get a new van someday. I, I need a bigger van. I gotta be able to haul a dog in here, a cat, all kinds of stuff. So until then, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.